Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and it's Thursday, time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys. Phyllis tweeted me and asked this. I'm curious, at Tim Schmoyer, why you chose Patreon instead of YT Tip Jar, or are you doing both? Good question, Phyllis. This is one that several of you guys asked, so I thought I would address it, and I might do both. I'm gonna wait until the Tip Jar rolls out on a more broader scale, because I don't have access to it. But I do have a couple friends who are testing it with Google and kind of trying it out. And after a couple discussions with them, I decided that I wouldn't wait for the tip jar and I decided just instead to go with Patreon. Why did I choose that? Well, I got a couple reasons. The last reason is the biggest one. Let me give you some initial ones real quick though. The first one is that I don't really think that the YouTube culture here, like people aren't used to pulling out their wallet with creators here on YouTube. Now, a lot of creators are successful with getting viewers off of YouTube and onto like their own website where viewers are much more likely than to pull out their wallet and make a transaction of some sort. In fact, my business model relies on that here. Video creators where I'm selling ebooks and video training courses and things like that. But it'd be a little bit different if I was asking you guys to make a financial transaction to access that type of content here on YouTube as opposed to you know going to my website. Second reason though, is that a tip is just like a one-time contribution. On Patreon, you're asking for ongoing contributions. And I felt like those ongoing contributions would, one, be more reliable, and more importantly for me, two, more predictable, so that I kind of have a better idea of what each month is going to bring from my fundraising efforts, either through the tip jar or through Patreon. Number three, the tip jar is basically just like a nice way of saying thank you to a creator. On Patreon, like people are literally buying into a community that surrounds your content and your channel. Number four, Patreon supports things like PayPal and credit card. Tip jar is just Google Wallet, that's it. Number five, I don't really like the idea of having all of my revenue tied up through Google. AdSense is fine if that goes through Google, but I don't want like all of my financial revenue streams in one basket. If something ever happened to my AdSense account for whatever reason, there would boom, there would go all my tip jar stuff, all my AdSense revenue and everything. But number six, this is the most important one to me and really why I decided to go with Patreon. And that is because Patreon has like community development built right into it. The people who found it, Patreon and who are developing it and working on it, they're actually creators themselves, some YouTubers, some musicians, some artists. And so they know and understand how important it is to cultivate a relationship with the people who are financially supporting you. They think more like creators and less like engineers. And so they definitely are building a tool that lets you interact with your supporters. I've heard some of the plans that they have coming up with like mobile apps that lets you do really quick, you know, really timely interaction with your supporters and a whole bunch of other tools that really help you solidify that relationship. So audience development and community development are really important to me. Not just kind of getting like one-off tips here and there as like a thank you because you know found the video helpful. I may also implement tip jar for people who do just want to give like a one-time thank you type of tip here on YouTube. But I'm planning on investing my time and energy into the video creators Patreon page and with those people with perks, with hangouts, with additional news items, with like a private podcast for those people and plenty of other things. So if you have found this channel here video creators to be helpful for you. I'd love for you to also help support this, to become a Patreon of this channel and help it become sustainable and ongoing for you guys. Go over to patreon.com slash video creators or you can click right here to go check it out. And we'd love to have you join the community that is growing over there on the video creators Patreon page as well. But I would also love to hear from you guys in the comments below here on YouTube about what do you think about the tip jar versus Patreon? What's your experience been like with the tip jar? If you have access to that already, how about with Patreon? If you've been using that with your audiences? And give us your thoughts, tip jar versus Patreon. Comment below, go. So thanks for hanging out guys. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe here to this video channel. Every Thursday, I take a question from one of you guys, do my best to answer it for you. On Tuesdays, we take a look at what the updates are, everything that's changing online video world and industry, and talk about what it means for us as creators. And then on Wednesdays, to give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, and things like that. And I do all this because I really do believe that a lot of you guys have messages that people really need to hear, and I want to do everything that I can to help you build your YouTube channel and your audience so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can just find you and hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.